I'm here in London at the preview of the new Bandai Namco Cross Store. It's the first one outside Japan and it's right here in the UK, in London, in Camden Market. It's a bit like a department store with several sections. There's figures and merchandise from Bam Presto and Mega House. There's Ichiban Kuji, the One Piece card game, an excellent stationery section, arcade games, and most importantly, they have Gachapon. I'm gonna show you around each section, then I'll show you where the shop is and how to find it in Camden Market, and then some other things you might like around Camden if you like Japanese stuff. Here's the map of the store just by the entrance. I didn't realise it was going to be two floors, but here's the most important part, the gacha floor. So for the games arcade, they've got games machines, there's Dance Dance Revolution, various arcade games, they've got some UFO catchers, and most importantly, they've got Gachapon. They've actually got a lot of Gachapon here, I'm pretty impressed. And because Bandai Namco are the company that make a lot of Gachapon, these are genuine Gachapon machines from Japan. And there's a lot of Gachapon series here that I recognise. Here's how to do the Gachapon. You purchase your tokens from the machine, put your coins in the machine, turn the handle, and get your capsule with your fries inside. So now, on to the important part. Let's take a look at the Gachapon. Hamsters, the little hamsters that go on your finger. Oh, and there's a hedgehog one as well. That's so cute. And sugar gliders. Oh, these are cute. They're Animal Crossing snow globes. Kirby shell dresses. Oh, Tamagotchi and Sanrio characters. That's pretty cute. And I love these characters. Taiko no Tatsujin. There's a nice display here of some of the Gachapon prizes. Some nice Sanrio characters. Hello Kitty. These are pretty cute. At first I thought these were snails on laptops. I don't know One Piece, so I don't know the significance. So usually capsule machines in the UK are a bit rubbish. They have really cheap kids' toys in them like little plastic things and bouncy balls I actually saw a few of them earlier around Camden but these are the real deal the same as Gachapon from Japan and the series inside them are exactly the same as they have in Japan as well so it's actually pretty organized this section is all the anime and manga Gachapon and these are the funny Gachapon these have got to be the best ones I reckon still waiting for your mountain oh there's sushi rings these are good ones more rings I'm seeing more and more Gachapon rings all all the time. Cats in a box. There's a lot of these still waiting for you. There's series two and series three. Little animal bookmark. What is going on with these cats? They're having fun in the streets. They've got their own gachapon machines in the background. Skateboarding small animals. I like the budgie. Animals in the sauna. And there's a section of living things gachapon. Oh, these are tiny birds that can sit on your charging cord and birds that can sit on your umbrella handle. And more rings, of course. Gachapon series change periodically. They're always bringing out new ones, so they won't always have this selection. I expect it will change over time. I think this is Sanrio Corner. We've got a lot of Sanrio Gachapon. We've got a lot of Kirby over here. All in on the Kirby. Here's where you get your tokens for the Gachapon machines. They take coins, notes, and cards, so that's good if you don't have any change. So the tokens for the Gachapon are two pounds per token, and the Gachapon are two tokens, three tokens, or five tokens. There's also Gachapon at the Namco Funscape in Gateshead in the Metro Centre, in Manchester in the Trafford Centre, and in Norwich. If you like Gachapon, take a look at the playlists on my channel. There's lots of videos with roundups of the funniest Gachapon and the Gachapon Challenge, where we searched for the best and strangest Gachapon in Tokyo. There's also lots of Japan travel videos and new videos on Thursdays if you want to subscribe. Here we've got a kind of low down UFO catcher that you look down on. There's a change machine if you need coins and it does take cards as well. I hope in the future they'll have more Japanese style prizes in the UFO catchers. They do have plushies as prizes in Japan, but at the moment these seem more UK style. Although still better than some, like these I spotted elsewhere around Camden. It says Miffy's coming soon, I wonder what that's going to be. So let's see what's upstairs. Good to see they've got a lift as well as the stairs if you don't do stairs. Upstairs is larger than the ground floor and is more focused on shopping. There's a section here where you can buy games. They've got PlayStation, Switch and Xbox. Now 
now this is exciting. There's a little stationery shop and you know I love stationery. It's Mofu Sand. Mofu Sand was everywhere when I was in Japan earlier this year. I think you can see why. They're pretty cute. What have we got here? Corner cutters. So they're little punches. You can cut shapes on the corners of pages. What is this? It looks like a pen. It's actually a pair of scissors. Teeny tiny sticky notes. Gotta have washi tape. Ah, it's a punch for cutting little finger holes in the edges of paper. I never knew something like that existed. Metasil, a metal pencil with a metal lead that can write and erase. So pretty pastel colours. Three rolls in one, so you can draw with one colour, the other colour or two colours at the same time. Pens that make it easy to draw pixel art. These colours are so pretty. Roller stamp pen. Wow, it's got a little wheel so you can draw a dotted line or a curvy line. Everyone else is playing the arcade games. I'm just excited about the stationery section. Oh wow, it's a hamster shaped desk cleaner. That is so cute. And it's so fuzzy. We've got a little shop of figures. This is just like a department store but with all anime stuff. These are some big boxes. They take up a good amount of suitcases if you bought them in Japan. And because this is Bandai Namco, you know that everything is genuine official merchandise. So Ichiban Kuji is a thing they have in Japan, but you don't often see it abroad. You pick which cabinet you like the look of, you buy one of the tickets, you pay for it, and then you reveal which prize you get. And which prize you get is which letters on the ticket. So it's a bit of a mystery, but you do always get something. So from this cabinet, you know you're always going to get something from Naruto, but you don't know which one. This one's coming soon, a whole display of Kirby prizes. You might get a clear file. I knew one of them had to be a clear file. Or you might get figures, or this mask thing. You might get a towel or a key ring. If you get the last one, you get the last one prize. It's exciting. It's good to know that 20% of the Ichiban Kuji ticket sales are donated to charity. They actually had this in Japan, just like this, in Ikebukuro in Sunshine City, in the world's largest gachapon store. For the Ichiban Kuji, they've got these sheets up and they show how many of each prize are left. So at this prize, two of them have already been won. Someone got one of the top prizes, B. So you can see what your chances are. And there's more of the smaller prizes and then fewer of the top prizes up here. A is always the best one, I think. So if you see, this is almost full up. If you buy the last ticket, you automatically get a special prize. All the Ichiban Kuji tickets are £14. If you win one of the small prizes, like a key ring or a clear file, that's not so great. But you might win one of the big prizes, like one of the really big figures. So it's a risky game. There's a cafe with hot and cold drinks, paninis, sandwiches, and they've got mochi ice cream. These look delicious. Passion fruit and mango, creamy coconut. Over at this end section, they've got one piece card game. So you can buy cards here and there's also a section where you can play. So they've got all tables set out. I think they're doing some interviews in here at the moment so I won't disturb them. So there are four Bandai Namco cross stores in Japan. There's one in Tokyo in Ikebukuro in Sunshine City which is right next to the world's largest gachapon store. I think I went there just before it opened and they just had loads and loads of UFO catchers. There's also one in Yokohama near Tokyo there's one in Osaka and there's one in Fukuoka. The cross stores in Japan are quite new so I was kind of surprised they were opening one outside Japan already and I was even more surprised when I heard it was in London but I am glad because it means I can go to it. It's in Kansas Market which is a bit of a maze so prepare yourself to get lost and just enjoy exploring. There's loads of other shops here, loads of places to eat, lots of street food stalls and there's a few other stores you'll like if you like Japanese stuff. Look out for Japan Craft, which has a large anime merch store and a traditional Japanese craft store. There's lots of Japanese food, both stalls and restaurants, and lots of other interesting places. Allow plenty of time to look around because the markets, especially, are a maze. To get here, take the Northern Line on the tube to Camden Town, walk all the way up Camden High Street until you get to the big bridge that says Camden Town, go directly up to the bridge, turn left. Go through this little archway of street food stalls and there you are. I used to come to Camden a lot but I haven't been here for a few years now and it's so different. I've always thought of Camden as kind of the Harajuku of London because it's known for alternative fashion. That's not really so much the case anymore but it's still a fun place to visit and it's interesting to see how it's evolved.
Obviously, when you've been to Japan and you know how much things are over there, it does seem quite expensive, but everything costs more in London than in Japan, and you're paying for all this to be imported around the world. And if you don't have the chance to go to Japan, it's great that you could have this experience in the UK. It's nice, there's another little bit of Japan over here. Now we've got this and Coca Curry, we're on to a winner. Thank you to Bandai Namco for inviting me to the preview. If you go, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.